What's going on? My name is Trey. Welcome to Kind of Change. Today we're going to be talking about 35 versus being maybe 23 years old as a woman. If you want to like and subscribe after watching this video, please do. Working our way toward the PC soundboard, you know what to do. Appreciate all the love. Okay, let's get into this video. Easier for you or harder? Easier. Hmm. At 35, has dating gotten easier for you or harder? Easier. Hmm. Why is that? I care about myself a little more. Before, I was more uh, thinking about what everybody else wants and then that wasn't working. So now I know what I want, so it's easier. Do you think a man is more likely to take you serious now at 35 than when you were 23? I think it's the same. I don't see a difference. So what do you think men prefer? It all depends. Some men like women that are independent and they can go at the same level with them to do things. Other men just like vulnerable women that can uh, be with them for like a few hours and then get rid of them. So it all depends on so you don't, where they are. So what do you look for in a guy in Miami? Oh, nothing. I don't even date here. I go to Europe or some other con like somewhere outside of Miami. Miami is a whole different world because there's so many women and uh, they're so easy and it's like so like available that it's pointless. Do you find that you're competing a lot with the younger woman? Nah, they had nothing on me. <laughs> okay. Some reason the person who put this up on X said that this guy was a loser. I just don't see that. I don't see how he was a loser in that. Uh, that seemed like a pretty decent interview. He just asked a simple question. She gave a simple answer. But here's my point on it. So. I don't know my mind down a little bit. Alright, here's my take on it. So I think if you are a 35-year-old woman in Miami, yeah, the competition is gonna be fierce. Right? Um I, she was kind of dogging on the younger women saying that they're easy, they're available, they can do all this kind of stuff. If she wants a man, she can go to Europe, she can go somewhere else. Um listen, I'll say this once again. Now I don't know this woman, and if you're 35, I do question if you're if you're 35 and single as a woman. I, I mean, I do question it. But, I mean, I'm not saying that women who are 35 and older can't get a man because they can. Because, once again, this is not about always being a high-value man, right? Us average men down here, right? We, make, we, we do the jobs to make the world run a little bit. And we're not making maybe millions and millions of dollars. There is going to be a guy who's going to go out to a 35-year-old woman. My biggest argument that I have to say with this is just that men, listen, if you're really dunking on this woman for being 35 um, and um, saying that you wouldn't get with her because she's 35, I just doubt it. If you're in your 40s or if you're even in your 50s, you would get a 35 year old woman. If she's nice enough to get with, if she's tolerable, I understand that men will always say, oh, yeah, no, I would obviously go for a woman who's 22. I don't know. I really don't know, you know, because it, it changes for every single man. Is a high value guy probably gonna do it if he wants to have a family? Yeah, it'd be smarter to go for the younger woman. But am I saying that if a woman looks good at 35, that she's just gonna immediately get turned down only because she's 35? I just don't believe that. I believe you can be in your 30s and still marry a man. Are your options gonna to be smaller? And here's where some women I disagree with them. Some women who say that their options aren't smaller, they get bigger. That I disagree with. No matter who you are, if you're a woman, the older you get, the smaller your options are going to be. It's just it's just how it is, right? There are going to be men who don't want to date women in their 30s. There's no way your options open up the more you get into your 30s. It, it doesn't make any sense. Maybe you know more about life and maybe you're more experienced, but men don't care about that. They don't care if you got more life and more experience. Not saying you can't get a man at all, but to say that you're just going to keep getting older and your options are just going to keep expanding. You no, know, they're going to get smaller. That's just, how the, that's just how the game is played. I would say the same thing to a man. If a man was making, let's say he's on YouTube, right? Um, and he's making a hundred thousand dollars a year off of YouTube in his twenties. His, his his options are going to be much more open than if he gets to thirty five years old and he starts making less money. Let's say he goes from making a hundred thousand to fifty thousand. Are his options going to get bigger or smaller? They're going to get smaller because he's making less money. For a woman, it happens to be with age and beauty. The older you get, the less your options come. I'm not saying it goes down to zero. I'm not saying you're not going to have no man. I think there'll be plenty of men who would date somebody who's 35. You know, if she's easy to get along with or something like that, or maybe they just want to start a family, maybe they're lonely. I don't know. But to say that you, as you get older, your options get better, they don't. 
They don't. Not at 35. And everybody, they're gonna, like I said, there's got to be women who get with men who are up there in status and stuff like that. I get that. And there's going to be women who are 35 who get with average men. It's okay. Is 30 the end of the line? No, I don't think. I don't think if you turn 26 that, oh, it shrinks and you, you got nobody. But do I think once you start cracking up there in the 35 that your options are going to get smaller? Yeah. But that's normal. I mean, me personally, I have a family that my mom, my mother got married much younger. She got married around her 30s. But that was, it was starting to toe the line for her, right? It was start. my mom, the way she is, if she hadn't, I'm being honest, if she hadn't gotten my father, I think her options would have really started slimming down because of the kind of person she is, right? As you get older, you start to become more set in your ways. And so she did find my father and they've been married for 30 plus years. But I have other people in my family who options ran out. They started getting older and now they got nobody. Nobody's going to want to deal with somebody who's getting up there in their 40s and they're stuck in their ways. And it's just the way it goes. And they've been single almost my entire life. I have people in my family who've been single, women in my family who've been uh, single their entire life. A lot of the men in my family have not been single. As they got older, they were still able to get women because they started making more money. The more money, the, the better their options were. So a guy can get older and have more options because if his finances are going up, he'll have a better chance to be able to take care of a family. And women want that. But a man who's starting to make more money is less likely going to get with a woman who in her 40s because he's like, ah, you know, I'll probably go with somebody just a little bit younger. Seen it done. Seen it in my family. I'm sure you've seen it in your family. I don't want to make this a man versus woman thing. I'm just simply saying that. Uh, it's just, just a, it's part of the game. I don't understand why people just don't want to be part of the game. Meaning, they only want to play the game if it's on rookie mode. They only want to play the game if it's on easy mode. It's like the real game, though, on normal mode. Not saying very hard being a veteran and stuff like that. But if you just play the game normally, men are going to go for younger women sometimes. Your options are going to get smaller as a woman as you get older. Doesn't mean it goes to zero. But if you start becoming, and this is another thing, too. And I can attest to it. It's the same thing we see with women who become overweight. They think their options expand as they gain more weight. It's like you don't get more men by being overweight and also getting older. You don't get both. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, the women who are fit are going to have a better chance than women who are overweight. It's the same thing for men. There are men who are going to have way better chances with women being taller than me and being fitter than me than I would have. Uh, I think we, men can understand that. We understand our options. Some men don't understand, like some of the red pill men don't understand that. They think they can be fat and just because they got money that their options are just as expensive as somebody who's fit and has money. Then your options are going to still be lower. If you're a fat man, you're overweight, you're still going to have less options than the man who's fit. Even if y'all making the same amount of money, he's going to have more better options if he's tall and handsome. And if you're fat and short like me. His options are going to be better whether, regardless if we're making the same amount of money. All other things being equal. That's just a part of the game. I just don't want people to be delusional because when he, the thing we see with the red pill men is if they continue on the path that they're on. Sorry, let me get some water. Golly. Red pill men will learn to hate women and think that because they aren't making enough money or something like that or if they think because they are making money every woman has to get with them i think red pill today just kind of teaches young men who really aren't making any money at this time to hate women as they grow up they start becoming bitter that women won't date them because they're not tall they're not this they're not that it's, instead of developing skills that will get them a woman because most women from what i can see most women and i've worked with hundreds and hundreds of women most women will get with an average man. Most women aren't thinking, oh, he's got to be six figures. That's the only women in the big city who have been pushed into that. But women who are just in normal cities, normal towns, they're not thinking about, well, my man has to make $600,000 a year. That's just certain women. Remember that these red pill people get people, women from the city. They get women from big cities who are young, who are trying to get a man with money. And that's fine if that's what they want to do. But don't let that be the end all be all, man. There are women who will date you, but you're going to have to develop a personality. You can't live on this tirade of girl, get in the kitchen and make me a sandwich. You just got to be not stupid. I'm sorry. You got to be reasonable. OK, you can't get on this tirade. If she can't make a sandwich, she can't be my woman. You'll be alone for a long time. If your opening remark is, can you cook and can you make me a sandwich? I promise you, if you go into every date like that, it's not going to go well. Show that you have some ability to have a conversation because I'm telling you, as a married man myself, 
Okay. And who knows, you know, I'm not sitting here saying that I'll be married forever. Things happen in all relationships. All I'm saying is from what I can tell from my experience so far in marriage, having a woman who's just there, a woman who can help you, a woman who's, who can help you when you come home and you're looking for a certain thing, if you can be like, Hey babe, where is this? That's nice to have. It's nice to have a woman who cleans the house. It's nice to have a woman who works um, and stuff like that to help with the finances, you know, and stuff like that. It's a good thing. It's not a bad thing, you know, until I get to a place now, if I'm making enough money she don't have to work that's even better but right now this is where we are and it's okay i just don't understand why it has to be she has to do everything as long as i'm working it, it's just not that way it's better to have a companion somebody to love somebody to know that has your back somebody to come home to sleep somebody to lay in bed with somebody to sleep with you know what i mean somebody who you know is always going to be your rock it is a good thing to have but too much today in society because we've been so looking at so much corn and we think about only fans and we get into the red pill. All we see is relationships as a give and take. It's just, I'm going to make the money. You make the sandwiches. Life is going to be beautiful. I promise you that is a terrible relationship. I understand some relationships are business, business oriented, uh, but most relationships are most of them are going to have some kind of romance, some kind of something. And it's hard to maintain sometimes because everybody gets busy, but I'm just saying, man, I went off on a little rant. I'm just saying, man, being 35 ain't the end of the world. But to say that your options don't get smaller, that's ridiculous. Same thing as men. If you make less money, men, your probably your options are going to be smaller. If you're not tall, you're not handsome, your options are going to be smaller. But that doesn't mean we ain't going to get somebody. You can obviously get somebody at any age, any place. But can you get anybody you want? No, <laughs> that's dead. <laughs> you can't just have anybody you want. That's all I'm saying. I'm gone.